Hi friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from Tech Virus, and today I'll be showing you how to create a simple Microsoft Excel macros. What you need to do is just click on Run or Start Panel and type in Excel. This will open your Excel 2010. Once you have Excel 2010 open, you need to make sure you have a developer tab on top. If you don't have Excel developer tab, then you just need to click on File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and you have a developer button here. Just check this. If it is unchecked, then check this and click OK. So you will be able to see this developer tab. Okay, so once you have the developer tab, you just need to type whatever you want to do. For example, in this macros, I am uh, adding two values and giving the sum in the third cell. Let me put this as number one, and this one as number two. And in this column, let me put result. Alright, some result. Okay. What I'll do, I'll put some value here and some value here. Now I have to get output in this cell. I'll color this cell to know. Okay. And then you can go to your developer tab and you can insert an ActiveX control. So this will actually create a small button so that whenever you click on that button, action take place like some happens. So this is the button. You can resize this according to your need, how much you want to keep it. And you want to change the name of this button, just right click on this, click on properties. And in this properties option, you have caption. Just click on this and change the name whatever you want to change to some add put the name as add now you need to write some code inside this how you write this just double click on this it will open a small box and goes into the visual basic application and this actually helps you to write the code so let me write small piece of code which will sum the numbers let me check what is the range where I need the output Output is required in the cell that is E2 and the numbers are in C2 and D2. So let me go back to editor, write range. I want result in E2 and I want some from these two cells range C2 plus range D2. I can use anything, caps lock on or off, doesn't matter inside the codes. And it's good to write dot values because these are the numbers. I'll dot values in this also. If you press dot, it will activate this IntelliSense and you can select effective V now dot value. Now if you go to the next line, it will check if this line is correct or not. If there is any kind of error, it will highlight in red color. There is no errors. Just I'll click on save. Once if I click on save, it will ask which file I want to save. In file type, make sure you select this Excel Micro Enabled Workbook, XLSM. And this, write some name, A, B, C, D. Save this. Close this, close this. Here we are back to the Excel file, and that visual editor was linked to this. Now I will click on add, but if I'm not able to click on add, just check if design mode is off or on. 
you see it's yellow and it's highlighted it means design mode is still on just click on this once it will go now it's not in design mode it's in execution mode so if you click on add it should sum in this particular cell I click on add see 20 plus 60 plus 80 if I change any number 20 click on add it's going to change into 40 see I don't have any formula in this I am just using this macro 30 I press on add it's 50 so this is a very simple kind of macro so uh, this is actually give you a feel of what are tools and how do you write a macro where what is the place which you can write macros later sessions I will tell you step by step how you can write good macros so I hope you like this video thank you have a nice day